Is it gonna be as good as everybody else thinks? Welcome to Snow Dogs Cooking, you guys. Today, we are making the trending viral TikTok feta pasta. I don't know if this is gonna turn out. Most people, when they try it, they rave about it. I don't think there's enough ingredients for it to be that great, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it so you can try it at home. Let's jump into it. And as always, we have our two adorable little kitchen helpers in here with us to pick up anything that might fall on the floor. We have collected all of our ingredients for this recipe. And as always, there will be a link to the recipe down in the video description below. Step one, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. After preheating your oven, we're gonna get out our baking pan. We're going to gather two pints of cherry tomatoes, one small bulb of garlic, an eight ounce block of feta cheese. Yes, you can also use feta cheese crumbles if you need to. And some extra virgin olive oil. Ma'am, there's no sleeping on the job, ma'am. <laughs> we're gonna take our garlic and we are going to cut off the top of it. Now to our pan, we're going to add all of our tomatoes, which of course are washed. We're gonna make a nice little home in the middle for this block of feta cheese. Get it right in there. That beautiful bulb of garlic is going to roast along with this, so kind of just find a home for this. Now I'm gonna take my olive oil spray and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it all over. Make sure you get your garlic good. Also at this point, you can add a little bit of salt and pepper. This is looking delicious. It smells good too. Oven's preheated. Now it's time to pop it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Ma'am, I have to open the oven door. Would you mind scooching your butt? Thanks. No, that's not scooching your butt. <laughs> Here we go. Good luck in there. So while that is cooking in the oven, we are going to get out a pot, fill it with some water, wait until it boils, add a little bit of salt, and drop in our noodles, and cook them until they're done. So once your noodles are done, drain them and save just a little bit of that pasta water. But Jess, how do I know when my noodles are done? Follow the directions on the side of the box. I'm using bow tie noodles. You can pretty much use any type of noodles that you like. The next thing you're gonna need is basil. This is best with fresh basil, but my grocery store didn't have any, so I'm using this and then a little bit of red pepper flakes. Optional, you don't have to add it. Ooh. So this is about what you want it to look like. Nice and brown, it just came out of the oven. Look at that garlic, it's gonna come out of there so nice. So first we're gonna squeeze that garlic out of there and then we're gonna mash all this together. That's what the garlic looks like all nice and roasted and we're just gonna squeeze it. And look, it comes right out. Delicious. While this is still nice and warm, add your basil. About a tablespoon, you know, measure it with your heart. I'm gonna add that much, cause I like basil. And then a pinch of red pepper flakes or some shakes. Now I'm just gonna take my potato masher and go ahead and start kind of mashing these together. Be careful, this is hot. You could also use a fork. Last but not least, add your pasta, which my pan doesn't look like it's gonna be big enough. So I'm gonna add a little and then stir it and then add the rest. Remember that pasta water I told you to save? You only need to add it if this looks really dry, which mine doesn't look dry, so I think we're good. All stirred together, looks pretty good, smells pretty good. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, but don't you worry, we made noodles. You know what that means? You get a noodle, would you like a noodle? Oh man, how about you? Would you like a noodle? Good stuff, you didn't even chew it. You chewed it, you didn't chew it. All right, can I try it now? I'm gonna try mine with stuff on it. You guys just got plain noodles. All right, so it smells amazing. The roasted garlic smells really, really good. And even though I didn't use fresh basil, I can still really, really smell it. So we're going to uh, give this a try and see if it's as good as everybody says. Um, it's, um, it's not bad. Like I could eat it. It's different. It's very different. I was hoping to have that like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing that everybody on TikTok seemed to have when they tried it, but no, that's that's not the that's not the reaction you're gonna get from me on this one. So on the ups, it was easy to make. On the downs, it's not really anything that special, at least in my opinion. Let me know if you guys tried it or if you've already tried it. I'd love to know what you think. If you wanna see some of our other videos, they'll be on the screen here. And uh, as always, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you again soon. It's not bad. I'm definitely gonna eat it. Bye.